Rainbird's design experts can put together a professional irrigation plan for you based on a simple questionnaire and a scale drawing of your yard that shows you everything you need to water more intelligently. Before you begin, there's a few items you'll need to help you with data collection. A water pressure gauge, which you can get from a retailer, a piece of string at least five inches long, a tape measure, a five gallon bucket, a timer that can display seconds, a marking pen, and a pencil and paper. You'll also want to download the Sprinkler Design Service Worksheet. First, you need to find out your property's water pressure. Because water usage in your neighborhood can vary throughout the day, it's best to do this test as close as possible to the time of day you plan to irrigate. Before you start measuring, make sure no water is being used either outside or inside your home. Attach the pressure gauge to an outside faucet that's as close as possible to the main supply line. Then slowly turn on the faucet until it's fully opened. Now you can read and record the system's static pressure, which is the pressure in the pipes when no water is running. It's measured in pounds per square inch, or PSI. The ideal water pressure should fall somewhere between 40 and 60 PSI. If your pressure is outside this range, your system's performance may be less predictable. Check with Rainbird Technical Support if you have any questions. You can also measure the water capacity or flow for your property. Remove the pressure gauge, then place the five gallon bucket under the faucet. When you're ready, quickly open the faucet all the way and note how many seconds it takes for the water level to reach the top. We need a reading in gallons per minute, or GPM, so you'll need to do a little simple math. Take the number of gallons and divide that number by the number of seconds it took to fill the bucket. When you have that number, multiply it by 60, because there are 60 seconds in a minute. Round your answer down to the nearest whole number. You now have your flow rate in gallons per minute, or GPM. Next, locate your water meter. Look for the size stamp somewhere on the outside. The pipe that runs from the water meter to your home is called the service line. The type will either be plastic, copper, or galvanized steel. To determine the size, wrap a piece of string around the pipe, then mark it with a pen, unwrap the string, and measure the length between marks. If your line is made of copper, two and three quarter inches of string means the pipe is three quarters of an inch. Three and a half inches of string tells us the copper line is one inch. And if the string is four and three eighths inches long, you have a one and a quarter inch copper service line. Because their wall thickness is about the same, the string length to determine the service line size for plastic or galvanized pipe is the same. Record your line size for later entry into the sprinkler design service order form. The next thing you need to do is to measure your yard. Make a rough sketch of everything as you measure and write down the distances. Be sure to include your house, garage, and any other buildings, as well as all sidewalks, patios and driveways, fences and walls, and of course, all grass areas, flower beds, trees, and shrubs. Once you have all the information, you can transfer everything onto the graph paper. First, pick the scale that you'll be using by deciding if each inch on the graph paper will represent 10 feet, 20 feet, or 30 feet. Then carefully transfer your measurements to create a precise scale drawing of all the features in your yard. Next, label the various areas according to the plants that are growing there. Also, let our designers know about any unique places in your yard that may have special watering requirements, such as an area that is mostly in shade or an area that has a slope. Next, indicate the location of your water meter with a box. Use a circle to indicate the place where you'd like to install your automatic timer. If you want your valves to go in certain areas, mark them with an X. With your scale drawing done, you can finish filling out the questionnaire. Scan or take a picture of the property sketch using a mobile device. Upload it to the Sprinkler Design Service and choose how you would like to receive your design. We'll email you a customized sprinkler plan for your property, including a complete shopping list of everything you'll need to do the job. If you have any questions, answers are just a click away or call us at 1-800-426-7782.